So, I really want to do my next lip swatch video showing you guys all of my pink lipsticks that I have. But after the last time, I'm a little nervous to do it on my poor little lips. Um, so I don't know if I could maybe do like some on my lips and then some on my arm. Or should I do them all on my arm? <sighs> I don't know what to do, but I want to do it just because I did do the rest of the colors and I think I should do all the pink colors. What's really funny to me is like, check this out. Okay, um, now just out of all these shades, this is the one that I've purchased, the Physician's Formula one that I always rave about. All of these have come from, like, Ipsy bags. Look at how similar all these colors are. It's so crazy. Like, I don't mind that they send me these colors because those are, like, the kind of colors I go for, if not, like, more of a red lip. Um... Nudes are really hard for me to come across, like, because some nudes are, like, way too nude for me. They have to, I like more of, like, a pinky nude rather than a peachy nude or a brown nude or, you know, what have you. Um, so I really don't mind that I get sent, like, you know, mostly pink shades. Um, this one is one that I bought from Shop Masse. This is that other moisture stick I was talking about in pink. Um, I don't know. It's like I wouldn't mind trying some of them on my lips. I just don't want to go overboard and do all of them on my lips because there's a lot of pink lipsticks and only one pair of my lips. Um... You know what? I'm going to dig out all the pink ones and count how many there are just to see, and I'll be right back. Guys, I counted 52 pink lipsticks. That's a lot to try on my poor little lips after what happened the last time. Um, I'm also scared, like, if I don't do them on my lips, it's going to be hard to keep them straight on my arms to be like, this is this one, this is that one. Like, I will get confused unless I just, like, show you as I go, like, as I'm swatching it, which one I'm doing. <sighs> what should I do? Man, this damn red lipstick transfers so easily and it's getting so messy on my lips. I might just take it off. I mean, I'm digging it, but I think I'm just going to take it off. Getting so low on these lives. Oh, don't tell me this is the last one. Okay. It's not. I am going to take off. What I like about these little shot mistake like lip pops is they're really glossy, they're really pigmented, and they come off really easily. Like they don't stain your lips. And I feel like most other, like, reds, as we saw in my last video, they stained. Um, I'm nervous. Okay, maybe I can divide it up and pick out certain ones to try on my lips. Certain ones to swatch on my arms. Or maybe I can push through and do it on my lips. But if my lips start to get sore, I can then switch to the arm swatches. Maybe that's what I'll do. Try, I'm not trying to bore you guys. I'm just trying to think out loud with you guys. Um, not that you can answer back to me. It would be great if you could. I'd love to be able to hear you guys right now, like, telling me what to do. Um, let me show you what's going on in front of me. I did that before, but like, this is literally just all the pinks. So, um, here, take, take a look at this. Pretty sure I said that's 52 <laughs> pink colored lipsticks. Now, some are a little more berry, some are, you know, like, this is a little darker, some are lighter pink, but you, you get the, the gist. I can't talk. You get the gist. Um, 
Yeah, maybe I'll go ahead and just try them on my lips. Be very gentle as I wipe them off. Or maybe I can even give myself a little time in between, like, putting them on and taking them off. That way I don't get sore lips. Um, and go from there. We're just, we're, we're going to do this thing. Okay, so I zoomed you in just a little bit so you can see, like, the lip swatch better. I'm going to start with an easy one. This is an Avon lipstick in the shade Tender Mauve, which I really thought was a more pink shade because of this, but, you know, so um, I'll be right back. Okay. Not a bad shade. Um... It feels like one of those, you know, my lips, but better kind of colors. Feels really moisturizing on the lips. It doesn't feel drying at all. I don't know. It doesn't say anything about being a matte or like a satin type of finish. I mean, it is just an Avon lipstick, but I do really like it. It's really pretty. All right, so I'm thinking of going in with this City Color City Chic in the shade One Night Stand. Looks like this. I know for a fact I got this in an Ipsy bag quite some time ago, so give me just one moment. Here it is. Feels really nice on the lips as well. It feels hydrating. Um, again, I don't think it says anywhere if it's supposed to be matte, satin. I don't think it's glossy, but um, yeah, this color is really beautiful, and it feels really nice on the lips, and it went on really, really easily. Yeah, I like this one. This one is by Coastal Scents, and it's just in the shade number 02. It's a very pretty light pink. Looks like this. very pretty just for a little wash of color. If you don't want something like bright pink or, you know, too dark and berry, this would be a nice alternative. It's very pretty. This is the LA Colors Chunky Lump Pencil in the shade. There, there is no shade, but it, it looks like this. It's very pretty. Went on really nicely. Nice and creamy. I think I found this at the dollar store, actually. So, great dollar store find. This one is also very pretty. It is the Burt's Bees Lip Crayon in Hawaiian Smolder. Nice and creamy with a lot of color payoff. Really, really like this one. This might be one that I could throw in my purse. Quick interruption here. Um, I don't know if I should just start like doing the swatches and just showing you guys and I can show you the lipstick and like I can add in a little text that says what the lipstick is so I'm not talking the whole time. I don't know if you guys like are annoyed with me like always saying something about it like oh it's creamy like I know that might be helpful but like it might be faster for me to just like throw it on show you guys a clip of it show you what it is and then move on to the next and I can just put in text you know like what lipstick it was and what shade name or what have you. I don't know I don't know, maybe maybe I'll just start try, trying that. That way I can get through this faster. I don't want this to be like a two-hour thing. Like, it won't be two hours for you guys, but for me, it may be two hours. Like, there's 50-something lipsticks here, guys. So um, don't be mad if I start not talking, or if you guys prefer me to not talk, then great. So when, when, I guess. I don't know. Okay, bye. And it did not pause. So again, another awkward moment. I'm going to start the not talking thing in the next clip, but um, this one just applied really messily. So, um, sorry about that. Um, this is the NYX Butter Lipstick in the shade Ripe Berry. It is really pretty. It's just like kind of hard to work with. It kind of like slips and slides everywhere. So, um, 
And again, I've never claimed to be good at applying lipsticks, so um, don't hate me. This is the Lime Crime Diamond Crushers in Lit. I'm not saying it's not pretty, but I'm um, not really sure what it's supposed to do. Might be a nice topper over an actual lipstick, but um, on its own, it's just um, a little too crazy for me. I don't know what I just did. I was trying to stop it, and I, I stopped it and started it again. So, um, I'm just going to tell you what this one is. It's the NYX Lip Tease, and it's a full-color lip oil in the shade Koi. <laughs> this one isn't as slippy as that purple one that I tried on. I mean, it's, it's a lip oil, so it does feel, like, slippy, but, I mean, like, it doesn't look patchy the way the purple one did. This one actually like looks really nice on the lips. Yeah, I really like this one. I'm just gonna say, this one is just as slippy as the purple one. May not look like it, like it looks pretty good on the lips, but I feel like the last one that I did of this, like, is a much better color for being a lip oil, and it, like, just goes on the lips much better than this bright pink and that bright purple. But, I mean, they feel nice on the lips. I mean, how could a lip oil not? It looks a little drying on the center. It doesn't feel drying, but I think my lips are just starting to start drying out a little bit after all this, you know. Um, this is the ColourPop in Solo. And it is an ultra matte lip. <laughs> Very pretty color. I just have to say... I do have a tiny bit of lip, 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 I can't talk. I have, do have a tiny bit of lipstick on my teeth. Don't mind that. Um, I thought I would hate this because it is a liquid metal by Smashbox that I'm pretty sure I did get in an Ipsy bag. It's in Mauve Squad. 
it looks weird right now, like, especially with, like, this eye look. And I didn't apply it, like, the best. But, like, I don't, I don't hate it on my lips. And I always thought I would hate, like, metals or frosts or anything because my lips are always, like, really dry. Um, not hating this. Just had to say that. Um, let me go get the lipstick off my teeth and um, I'll be right back. I tried. I just have to say, these NYX products smell like cake batter, and I want to eat them so bad. I won't eat them, but oh my god, they smell so good. Okay, there's not that many left. I know I could power through and easily just do the rest of my lips. My lips are not hurting or anything. I just think it'd be a lot faster if I swatched the rest of them on my arm. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, I know the lip swatches, I mean, this one's a little messy, but um, I mean like they help, you know, for you to see what it looks like on the lips. I do really like this color, um, but, ow, um, there, there really aren't that many left, to be honest, I just would rather swatch the rest on my arm if you guys are okay with that, so, um, I'm gonna get to swatching, and, um, yeah, I'll get right back to you guys. So, like, don't hate me. I'm sorry. Like, I don't know if you guys care or not, but I just, it'd be so much easier. Okay, guys. I did it. Give me one second. Um. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't think I had that many left, but uh, I'm going to give you guys a better look at this, so give me just one second. Okay, as you can see right here at the really top, the sparkliness and the glossiness, those are the little glosses that I had. They don't have much color to them. Then we move down to some more regular lipsticks. Here's all, my arm's starting to shake. Here's all my liquid lipsticks. This very last one that's like right on my tattoo, the little pale pink, that's just a butter gloss, one of the NYX butter glosses, but it was still pink, so I still wanted to share it with you guys. Um, yeah, so uh, if you want, what I can do here is take a photo. <laughs> And take another photo. And I can insert those. And I left them all in order. And just put the names on each color so you guys know what's what. And of what brand, if you guys even care. But, uh, yeah. My lips are still normal. I could have easily, like, just did the rest of this. Like, but, I mean, seriously, that's like... That's still a lot. I did this for you guys. I hope you appreciate this video. I'm like not good at lip swatches. A lot of them get sloppy. I can't help it. I'm still learning how to do makeup and stuff, you know? Um, hang on. I'm trying to turn my light on so you guys can see me slightly better. Um, I'm trying to like not move this arm. I'm pretending it's like in a cast right now because I don't want to get it like all over everything. 
Um, but I took little screenshots as I was taking the video, so hopefully I can put the brand and the shade name, or maybe just the shade name. I, I'll see what I can do. Um, but yeah, that, that was all my pink lipsticks. Literally, the majority of them came from Ipsy. Like, I did not buy all of these. Um, the ones that I bought were, like, the Wet n' Wild ones, the Elf ones, and my Physician's Formula one. Literally, everything else, or and maybe even this little gloss here I got at the dollar store. That one is swatched. Um, it's one of those sparkly ones up there. Um, but I mean, like... Literally, just over the course of six years, Ipsy has sent me like a thousand bajillion million lipsticks. Um, okay, I did purchase some of the ColourPop ones too. I forgot about that. But one of the ColourPop ones did come from Ipsy, so, you know. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end this and clean my arm really, really good and um, come up with more video ideas and... Yeah, if you guys are interested in watching me wrap presents for my kid, let me know, and I can do a video like that. I might, as long as I can figure out the editor, um, I'm not sure how to mute my video so I can, like, listen to Christmas music while I'm wrapping, and then I can, like, kind of speed the video up so it's not super long. But, like, if you're interested in seeing that kind of video, and I can, like, try and put music over it or something, let me know. Maybe I'll do it anyway, because I do need to start wrapping his presents. Like, I don't want to wait till Christmas Eve, because then I'll just go crazy. Okay, guys. I'm going to go clean this mess up, and I'll talk to you guys very soon.